take a group of people who don't really know each other, put them in a stressful, isolated situation, and they'll find a way to make it work. I'm a physician. My current location is on simulated Mars. This is the Hawaii Space Analog Exploration and Simulation. It's about 1,200 square feet. It's a great view of the dome from up here. That's Cyprien Verso, our French astrobiologist. This is our chief engineer, Anjay. Howdy. <laughs> this is Tristan and Carmel, the commander and the space architect. Our chief scientific officer. This is her day to cook. Hi. We look at how long we take to shower, and it's not competitive, it's more a matter of interest. Our telescope, our batteries, our whole power system right here. These three batteries can power the HAB off a day's worth of solar charge for a day and a half. I think the most exciting part of all of this is that we get to learn things that are really going to inform a future Mars mission. That's incredible to me. Anybody else want a sandwich or something for lunch? Yeah. Holy crap, that hit the window. <laughs> So this is the airlock. This is where we go to put on our spacesuits. We're all together alone here. You don't get a day off in space. <laughs> yes. Nice. <laughs> I'm here to discover what it's like to be a space doctor. The stakes are, in the worst case scenario, is that somebody may get hurt. So let's say somebody falls and now they're unconscious. The lava collapses a lot of the time when we walk on it. This could happen on real Mars too. I have, as we would on Mars, no way to give anyone blood. If someone gets really, really sick, I'm gonna have a tough time. It's not gonna work at all. <laughs> I was about to say, I can definitely give you a debrief on the antenna talk. There are gonna be problems, there are gonna be arguments, there are gonna be moments of tension and moments of despair when you realize you don't have the equipment and that you're running out of food and things are getting hard. But things are constantly, constantly changing around here. New experiments, new cave explorations, new geology tasks. I can hear the crew right now coming back from the latest geology task. I'll catch up with you later. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon on Simulated Mars. New experiments, new cave explorations, new geology tasks. I think the most exciting part of all of this is that we get to learn things that are really going to inform a future Mars mission. That's incredible to me.